Alright chat, I'm about to show y'all how to make the bathing ape baby build. As you can see, he's sitting right here. Playmaking shot creator. And we made him on the 4th, which is the exact day this game came out. So let's edit that bad boy. You feel me? Alright, so we have a 83.2 wingspan. You feel me? And look at our stats. I got to show you our stats right here because without the wingspan, you won't know what my stats looking like. We going to have an 80 driving layup, a 66 driving dunk. Now, when you reach 99.9, that gives you plus four Addy tributes. So that 66 turned into a 70 driving dunk. Why is a 70 driving dunk important? Because then you can start getting park dunks and your shot creator can start dunking like a slasher hello anyway you get park dunks at 70 so you 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 level him up plus four you get 70 driving dunk and now you're gonna have park dunks we have an 88 mid range 85 three pointer we didn't max out the post fade so we can spend more points on our defense and that's going to look forward to in the future we have an 88 pass accuracy 85 ball handle and just like the post fade we didn't touch our post moves so we have more addy tributes to go into our defense now as you can see our defensive ratings we pretty stacked on defense and on top of us being pretty stacked on defense at guard we're still a 6'4 height so all these ratings we got here are looking very very nice now let's see the badges we talking to one finishing badge because you don't really need finishing badges when you're a shot creator because you should only be taking open layups you get what i'm saying 24 shooting badges 21 playmaking eight defensive badges I'm happy with the guy that I made. You, 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 you can feel your type of way about it, but I feel like this is the most well-rounded. You can get the playmaking shot creator in 2K21. You get what I'm saying? Got the solid height, got speed, got great dunk packages, got fantastic shooting, got great dribbling, got great badges. What more do you need? Like, let's be honest. I feel like I touched every aspect. Minimal weight, obviously. Wingspan up until you see that you're about to lose, you know, your ball handle. Whoopsie. That goes down to 84. So you went too far. We bringing it back down. Now listen, chat. Y'all know y'all get the plus four. So y'all could play this way if y'all want to and just wait till you reach 90, 96 overall to get that one playmaking back. Y'all could do that. But Reese didn't want to. I wanted playmaking immediately off the bat. So that's why I went that way. You get what I'm saying? So just like that, that's how you make Reese build. And now after you pick your takeover, whichever one you wanted, I picked the worst one out the category. At least I get automatic blow buys. At least I'm when I pass the ball, my teammates automatically make the shot. The playmaking just doesn't reward ankle breakers. That's all that's missing. If they had ankle breakers, this would be a solid takeover. But right now, currently, all you get is automatic blow buys and an automatic jump shot from your teammate. Other than that, the playmaking badge ain't doing much for me personally because I know it does get you dribbling attributes. I would go with either one of these. You can't go wrong, but y'all know how the game is. Now let me show y'all the badges that I actually chose for the bait baby. All right, chat. Now we out here on the bait baby. Rate the fit on the scale of 1 to 10. When I was streaming, they was trying to tell me this fit weak. This fit A1. You can't talk down on this fit. Your boy look clean. Let me get into the light. The bait baby go crazy because of the way he dressed. <laughs> There's no way he can ever be as fresh as he is on NBA Live. But we just got to deal with what we got. You them. Badges. Like I told y'all. One badge. 24, 21, 8. Now let's see what we using. We using slithery finisher. Why? I don't, I don't really know. Like, if, if down in the comments, let me know if I shouldn't be using that. Should I be using fancy? I don't, giant slayer. Like, I don't really care. I, I don't like finishing badges on this game. I don't really care. You get what I'm saying? And now in the shooting badges, we got catch and shoot. Because most of the time, my player is at shooting guard. Because I am 6'4". And most of y'all point guards out here are shorter than 6'4". So, I'm 6'4", so I'm always at shooting guard. So, I need catch and shoot. Dead eye, obviously, green machine, obviously, hot zone hunter, range extender. Those are the obvious ones. Now I got hot start. 
just off the simple fact that once Reese pull up that first shot and that thing going in, it's a wrap for y'all. I got difficult shots on bronze because I don't shoot difficult shots. And currently in the game, difficult shots is overpowered. They won't get nerfed until patch 3. And as of right now, we're on patch 2. We don't know when patch 3 is coming. Mike Wang already confirmed difficult shots is getting nerfed. So your drifters that you guys are relying on is going to get eliminated out the game. I already don't even play like that, so I don't need it. And I got volume shooter because after two shots, this badge starts kicking in. So if as long as I make my first shot, then on my second shot, we got a lot working for us. You get what I'm saying? So those are my 24 badges. This was when the game first came out and some guy cooked me. He dropped 18 on my head, so I screenshotted his badge setup. And pretty much basically the same thing that I'm using currently. You feel what I'm saying? Listen, 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 chat. Reese can admit when he's beat. You feel me? Money was cooking me. So I had to figure out what badges he had on. And he was already maxed out the um first week of the game. We a couple weeks later. And now Reese finally caught up to him. The only badge missing was his catch and shoot. And he had that on silver. You get what I'm saying? So instead of him having hot start he put on he put on catch and shoot on silver but reese got all these same badges just to show y'all for a fact that reese is out here i ain't going out sad you know what i'm saying I'm making sure them badges a1 now in the playmaking badges i'm using bailout it works perfectly on bronze the ball is hitting your target floor general because i need plus three attribute boost for my teammates out there handle for days quick first step unpluckable tight handle stop and go that's the badges we using. Defensive badges. We got eight of these bad boys. Now let's run through them. Chase down artists. If I'm driving you off the three-point line, it's for a reason. And I've got a pretty long wingspan. So as long as I'm getting the right block animation, I'm jumping over your neck and punching that bad boy. You feel me? We got clamps on. I usually don't even run clamps, but like, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't feel a difference when I put clamps on. I don't really like having it on, but like most of the time it's defense is just weird on this game i feel like i'm always sliding so clamps ain't really helping me i recently just put intimidator back on i can't really speak too much on this badge when i'm playing this game i usually run my badges like this honestly i'm really just running badges straight like this this is usually how my badge setup is on this game i'm gonna be honest with y'all i know y'all thinking why my badge set up like this as a guard this is just how i feel comfortable in this game playing passing lanes letting you one pass me so i could chase you down and making sure i get that block when i catch you at the rim i don't know that's just how i like playing the game i like standing behind the guy with the ball because a lot of people run pick and rolls the only way I can avoid picking rolls is if I stand behind the guy with the ball and force you into shooting a drifter, force you into running past me to the rim. Like, I want I want to push you off the three-point line, so I like standing behind you. That's why I, I like my badges set up like this. I don't use clamps because I don't really stand in front of my defender. I like getting behind people. It sounds weird, but, like, if you saw me play, you would understand what I'm talking about. But anyway, that's, my, that's how I like my badges set up on defense. It's unorthodox. It's weird. It's hard to explain. As far as me currently on 2K, we 355 and 73. And this is my current win percentage, my three-point percentage, my field goal percentage. It's starting to go up. Y'all know the whole first week of the game, everybody was missing shots. Me personally, I played with my slasher the first couple days. So after I switched off of the slasher, shooting one for five every game, instantly started fixing how I'm shooting on this game. Now I'm out here just flourishing. We going crazy. You there, me chat. But other than that, let me know what y'all thinking about my build. Let me know what you're thinking about how I'm out here on the park. Just let me know y'all thoughts down in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed this build. Leave a dislike if I messed everything up, if I'm trash at the game, all that. And leave a comment why you dislike the video. I could tell his breath stink. Tell me stuff like that down in the comments. Just let me know your thoughts. But other than that, hit that button that say subscribe to join the mob. While you at it, follow me on my social media. Twitter, Instagram, they both I-T-Z-R-E-A-S-E. -E. Oh, look at the boy Reese. He clean. And peace. We out of here.